let's create a mock type of trial to educate people. What he's actually doing is he's giving these people cutting edge experience with a professional club. So business and sport has a, a really close link from, I think, from, from that point of view. And we can learn from each other uh, in that whole process. And that comes down to, to planning. So I think as, a, as an athlete, is actually having writing their own business plan. Within a team, the team set up, you'd expect that to be done as a goal moving forward. But I think it's important from an individual athlete as well, is that working towards of what they want to get out, where they're going to be. Instead of just sort of thinking, oh, we'll follow what the coach does, or if, uh, of, of, uh, uh, the physio if they're under treatment, and, and uh, that process of moving forward of really tying it together and working towards the, uh, that, that goal. Uh, it may not be with that one team, and maybe moving on, maybe to uh, within Rugby League, to Super League and, and uh, uh, national sides from that. But there has to be a goal, there has to be a process of, of working through that. And writing a business plan, I think, is, 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 is very, very important from that. And that's what I've worked towards within my rank career is that I work very closely with the coaches that were, were involved with me. My first coach, Mike Spranklin, uh, he took me from a junior athlete um, uh, right the way through to winning two Olympic gold medals. Um, and then Jürgen Grobler, who came over from East Germany, who was the best rowing nation at the time, um, uh, and helped me achieve my uh, the last three Olympic gold medals. Um, and I expected that Jürgen, being a German, of being very regimented of, of their process, is there's going to be no flexibility within uh, uh, the, the programme of, of working forward. I was so wrong from that point of view. His first meeting is that uh, talking to the athletes that, that his control was at that time, is actually, I'm going to learn more from you guys than the knowledge I've got already. Uh, he's still the top rowing coach within the world. He's still got that attitude of learning all the time uh, and improving his knowledge uh, and working with the athletes to, to achieve their goals. The main one is that what I give to people is enjoy what you're doing. You don't have to enjoy every training session of, of every, every element of, uh, of the, uh, the process. But if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not going to give it your, your best vig uh, vigour. So uh, enjoyment is a, is a key area. The more, more you have a passion for something, the more that uh, time and effort you're going to put into it, the better rewards you're going to get from it. Uh, and the more rewards you get for it, the more passion you can put into it. OK, so I was crowned Miss Gloucester back in October last year. So I have a full 12 month reign. My role as Miss Gloucester is to promote uh, the city and all the things that go on and just our, our big community spirit that we do have and also to raise as much money for charity as possible which is my main goal. Yeah, so Stop the Heartbreak are trying to get screening for young people between 14 and 35, am I right? Um, and they're working in association with CRY, which is Cardiac Risk in the Young. Uh, this is really, really important. Again, CRY, I think, and Stop the Heartbreak have sort of gone unnoticed for a little bit now. And I think 
it's actually in and around us. You, you know, most people will know someone who has, has suffered with a cardiac arrest and things like that, or have heard the stories locally. But yeah, so um, why in particular is this charity so close to your heart then? Okay, well, obviously, the university we we are our business is young people. Um, we're in, you know one of the major uh, universities in the country for sports, but this isn't just about sport. This is about all young people. Okay, and well, I'm just one of a number of people who have been running the campaign for the University of Gloucestershire, and Stop the Heartbreak is all about raising money for cardiac screening for young people in Gloucestershire aged between 14 and 35. Uh, we have here today and yesterday, uh, we have CRY, the Cardiac Risk in the Young charity, who are screening 100 people per day uh, and that, those bookings have been fully booked. So it's, we've had great support from the public who clearly are aware of these cardiac issues. But we've also got a festival of sport and physical activity taking place and basically we've had two days or are having two days of fun family activities and we're really grateful that Miss Gloucester has come along to support that uh, for us. So thank you very much. We're doing a degree at the same time. I think it is vital because that, uh, let's face it, most people don't make the grade that uh, uh, even if they may get through trials and be, be taken on, is that the majority of them still won't make it to, to the first team. Um, uh, and that's the, the nature of the business in some ways. So actually to commit yourself to a sporting career is really, really, really difficult to do. Uh, yes, is that, uh, that the highest level that, uh, that you can compete at is has is got to be uh, uh, the way forward for the athletes. Um, certainly it'll, it'll draw in more people that uh, want to get into uh, rugby league as a professional career. Yeah.